Well, I'm sure most, if not all of you, have seen the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. <laughs> Some members of Bill's Mafia are doing whatever it takes to get here to Kansas City for this game. And that includes the owner, or the founder, rather, of Bill's Mafia Babes, Kristen Kimmick, <laughs> who drove all the way from Buffalo here to Kansas City, nearly a thousand miles to watch her team play in the playoffs. Why choose to drive instead of fly? Is it a cost thing or are you just, is that part of the experience? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, definitely a little bit of both. I mean, who doesn't like a good road trip, right? So, <laughs> so we decided to make this in, into a, a full journey. And obviously, I mean, you look at the flights and they were pricey. And if we go to Tennessee next week, we're going to need to save our money for that. So. And um, it seems like people don't really care about the hours in a car to get to a game like this and a season like this. It seems like it's like, who cares about the distance? Let's just go. That's exactly what it is. Honestly, it, it feels like it's a dream. I mean, like, usually when you're driving for a vacation, it's, you know, it's tedious. This is just excitement. Sorry. Oh, this is, the guys are saying this is a business trip. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Did you go last year, Kristen? I did. I did. Okay. I went for, um, I'm actually more excited for this one, um, even though it's not the AFC championship, because we didn't have a full stadium in there last year. And with Kansas City being like known for being the loudest stadium, um, I'm excited to like experience the whole stadium as opposed to just, I, I think there was 15 or 20,000 last year. It seems like there's so many Bills Mafia babes coming. I've seen all the posts. I, I literally jump on Facebook and just break out into laughter at some of the things that people say. Uh, what have you kind of heard from the community that you started about coming this weekend? Yeah, there is a lot of women headed down there. There's, there's actually a few that live in Kansas City, so it's not too far of a hike for them. Um, but I mean, I'm meeting up with one of the babes that's coming in from Miami. I'm meeting up with, with another one coming in from Dallas. So there's going to be a crew in here, and it's the same. It's the same vibe across the board, right? Just what you see on Twitter, you see it on Facebook. I think everybody's just ecstatic. We can't wait. What uh, What's the first stop for you guys? I mean, I'm assuming it'll be a hotel, but maybe you're going straight either to Al's or your favorite barbecue joint. I think we're headed to the Airbnb, and there may be some barbecue waiting for us there. And if there's not, that's the second stop. We're going to go get. We need to get some barbecue. <laughs> What's your plan for Sunday uh, leading up to the game? Where are you guys going to be? Um, I think it sounds like everybody's going over to Lot X. So I know fans of Buffalo is having their thing there, but then there's also regular parking there as well. And, um, you know, Kenny Pinto Ron, he'll be over there. So I think that's going to, that sounds like it's going to be the lot to be in. And what, you know, what is, this year feels different than last year. I mean, there's just this spark. Of course, they had a huge spark last year, but there's just something a little different. Can you put your finger on what it is? I've been trying to put my finger on it all week. Josh Allen. <laughs> the guys are saying the vibe and Josh Allen, but I, I agree with them. I agree. I think that there's a different vibe. There's a different team walking in. I mean, it's essentially the same team. But I mean, we added Greg Rousseau, and he's got been huge. And we've got Horrible Harry, who's playing lights out. And it's just like, it feels like they're all melded in right now and all moving like a freight train in the same direction. So, like, let's go. <laughs> so, you, uh, you're driving now 14 plus hours, again, with a bunch of dudes. Uh, <laughs> that is a long trek. Hopefully, the payoff will be sweet. Last year, you were in KC when the Bills lost in the championship. The Bills have already beat the Chiefs this year. This is for all the marbles. What would, what do you think it's going to be like if the Bills come away with a win on this one and move on? I honestly, I, I, I'll be speechless for a little while <laughs> because I, I think, you know, we've got unfinished business smiles, to, to put. Yeah, huge smiles, unfinished business. We got to take care of this one. Um, and I think that... Well, can you imagine if Cincy wins soon, we get that AFC championship back in Buffalo next yes. week? I mean, we will see a party that even tops last week's party. So <laughs> I got to ask, all right, does anybody or did you bring any sweet potatoes in the car? So, <laughs> empanadas. We have empanadas. We haven't picked up the sweet potatoes yet, but that's actually on my to-do list for today. Yes. <laughs> We're going to try yeah, to grab one as well try. if we can find any around here. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get in with them, but I also
also think it would be really funny to be rolling through the security gates and just seeing piles of sweet potato. <laughs> I know. I don't feel like that's what you're going to see. Dave and I actually bought tickets, so we're going with our chief photographer. So we've got a live report at five, and then we're like, all right, let's go. We're heading right on in. So we're excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you guys definitely need to come into Lot X and, and make some rounds in there. It sounds we're like going awesome. to. Yeah, we're going to yeah. go there. And then the, the guy who owns that business at Lot X, he's going to come over and be with us um, at noon when we start when we start our show. 11. 11. Yeah. Oh, 12 cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah, well, so thank you so much for talking to us. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we'll run into you guys later tonight at the parties. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right. Good travels. Bye. Bye, guys. Go Bills. Go Bills. Go Bills. <laughs> oh. Whole conversation there. Whole conversation. <laughs> I need to mention, we are working. Yes. So we are going to be working, but also watching the Bills as well. And Dave and I, we went and got some sweet potatoes because I don't know, I'm, I'm sure most of Bills Mafia heard the story, but of course, uh, someone brought a sweet potato into the game against the Falcons ever since then. Yep. The Bills have won, and so Buffalo is buying all the sweet potatoes. And we were told that Kansas City had gotten word of that, and so Chiefs Kingdom had been going to all the grocery stores and buying up all the sweet potatoes but when we were at the uh, at the Aldi in Parkview I think is what yeah. it was or Parkville last night we were able to find uh, at least three or four of them left yep. one for me one for Dave one for our chief photographer Chris and we're ready to go right I don't know <laughs> if we'll get it past security but we'll have to see we'll try I've got big pockets here <laughs> well you heard what Kristen said about one of the first things that she is going to be doing finding that barbecue joint that was one of the first things that we did as well in fact we're going to go back and do that today before we come back for news four at six